I can see the whole billion guns if you have, let's say, your standard, and then if one to billion the guns, guns, then that's a you know combo right there. Freaking YouTube that. ads, man! <laughs> Journals ads. For real though, killing me. Four playable vault hunters, one billion guns, cast of returning characters. Oh my Jesus. The promise of one billion guns, one billion. I mean, as far as loot or shooters go, that's a really nice amount of guns to be able to look guns. forward to getting Guns! That's a nice amount of guns! Granted, granted, oh yeah, so Razor Boy said, okay, I got to the E, message me in direct message two minutes before you need. Okay, so I'll just shoot him a message when it's time. Mm -hmm. Okay. And DM. Yeah, cool. he said yeah. just in direct. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, this guy's just talking about the video, so I don't think he's actually going to give us anything else. But they're saying 1 billion guns, so, I mean, it's in the official trailer, so we're going to roll with it. I guess I, I am... How is this? How do how do more people not know that this is coming out? This is April 3rd? This is like... I don't, I don't see that much advertising. Though, I have I've seen, like, nothing like, for this game. Yeah, because I know, like, the previous board game like, games, they were really? advertising like crazy. How have, How are people not talking about this game? Because if there's not enough advertisement, that's the thing. Unless you, I mean, Borderlands is a popular game. It's, it's a good game. I haven't played it, but I've seen, you know, from videos and stuff on how it looks. But there's not enough promotion if you don't have, like, a, a bigger base. Yeah, yeah. Team. I didn't out, even know this was coming out in April. Holy crap. I didn't know either. <laughs> and I'm a Borderlands, I don't want to call me, I wouldn't call myself a fanatic I'm not, but I'm a fan for sure. Mm -hmm. How the hell do people not know about this? advertising it's like with dmc5 you yeah know? i guess but it, jesus it, it, man i i <laughs> wow i mean i usually there's only a few i talk about this excessively on stream there's only a few franchises that i'm willing to pre-order borderlands is not one of them as good as it's been I'm not going to pre-order so i was i mean i was going to yeah. wait for it to come out anyway to see what people think about it but but man april 3rd okay all right well there's that information that's a bomb okay. drop okay okay Okay. All right, rapid like, fire rant. Oh, huh. what's up? I was going to ask, like, is it going to be like 60 bucks? Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. Probably it'll be 60 mm. bucks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay, guys, do you mind if I move on to rapid fire rant? Yep. Okay, so every week on Game On, I have a big mouth if you can't tell. I like to just rant about something. I wouldn't call it an angry rant, although most of the time it is. Um, but today I want to rant about the Avengers series. So first, I'm going to watch this trailer about the new Avengers movie coming out, Endgame. And I haven't seen this trailer. So I'd like to watch it and give both things I've already thought about and my impressions on this trailer. So let's go ahead and start with that. God, it seems like a thousand years ago. I fought my way out of that cave. Became Iron Man. <laughs> Realized I loved you. I know I said no more surprises, but I was really hoping to pull off one last one. The world has changed. Yeah, this is the end of an era. Mm -hmm. None of us can go back. Multiple people have said, multiple actors have said, this is it. All we can do is our best. Yeah, because they're moving on to and a different the best era. Yeah. Do. Damn, that dude is too handsome. I can't handle it. <laughs> hey, some Bull nice crap, chat. Out there. <laughs> <laughs> Not fair. I'm telling everybody they should move on. Too many handsome people in this movie. Some do. All I gotta say is I was crying. I was like, no. <laughs> Why did you take him? Even if there's a small chance, we owe this to everyone who's not in this room to try. We will. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes.
Okay. Let's go here. I like this one. <laughs> okay. All right. Initial thoughts on <clears throat> Rapid Fire Rant. First, I'm going to start with my initial thoughts of that trailer. That actually pretty looked pretty badass. I have a feeling I have a feeling that a lot of main characters are going to die, which is going to make this movie so much better than the other ones. Personally, I think loss is a very important aspect of any show and or movie. And because so many of the actors have already stated that this is their last hoorah as their particular characters, I have a good feeling there are going to be some dead people. And that's awesome. Um, trailer looks great. I'm going to see it. Uh, it's three hours long, I've heard, which I personally don't have a problem with. Um, but here's, here's where the rant comes in. <sighs> Woosa. Get the heart rate down. Every Avengers movie has been the exact same. And it pisses me off. People play as though the Avengers movies are the greatest superhero movies and or some of the greatest movies of all time ever. I've had people say, yeah, that was a nine. I'm like, nine? What do you, what's your rating scale? How do you define a nine? Because those sure as hell weren't. The Avengers movies, the biggest problem for me with those is they follow the exact same storyline over and over and over again. Threat arises. They fail to handle threat. Disagreements break out. Sides are taken. And then they realize that they're stronger as one, so they reunify, reattack the threat, overcome the threat at some great sacrifice. That's it. That's it, man. Something comes, they fail, disagreement, break away, realize they're better together, come back, hit it again, win, sacrifice something, movie ends. It's been the same exact crap over and over and over again. Now, I will say some of the individual movies have been great. Iron Man 1... Iron Man, just the series in general, was pretty great. But Iron Man 1 was was great. I will also say that the actors are great. Tony Stark, uh, Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark, phenomenal. What's-his-face as Captain America? Also phenomenal. Hulk? You know, Hulk, the actor's kind of, you know, I don't know. Ant-Man, I don't even know why he's there, but, you know, fine. Um... The girl who plays, was it, Scarlett Johansson? She, she does a good job for her character, I guess. Not, not a home run, but not bad. Um, for the most part, I would say that they nailed a lot of the main characters. New Spider-Man guy, also on him. Um, but for the most part, the Avengers movies have not been good. They haven't been good. And I think for some reason we have this affinity with Marvel that we should not have, that they do not deserve. Now, I will say they, in the movie scene, in that space... They're, they beat DC. In the movie space, they beat DC. And that's a whole other conversation. I've done a video on that. I think DC beats them in a lot of other things. But that's not here nor there. Avengers in particular, though, not that good. Sevens, man. Sevens, not nines. Sevens. And I'm going to see this movie, and I think this will be the best of the three. But I want you to really take a step back and say, how good really were those movies? The most recent one in particular, not good to me. The one with Thanos? Awful, man. There were parts of that movie where I would cringe because I'm like, just take the stone. It's right there. I forget who it was. Maybe it was Tony Stark or someone who like was having flashbacks. I don't know. There was a scene where I'm like, just rip it from his hand. It drove me up the wall. And every, I don't know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes or so, they would shift plots from like Iron Man to Hulk to Thor. And I'm like, look, I'm trying to get invested in what's going on over here with this dude. And, and every time I do or I'm about to get there, you're switching me over to another storyline. I just can't keep up with everybody. It was too segmented. It was not a good movie. Seven at best. The affinity with these movies drives me up the wall. It really does. They're not bad movies. They're just not great movies. And I think we. I think this will be the best one. But I think we just need to take a step back on writing the Avenger movies. And that's my rant for, to, for this week. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Do you have anything you'd like to add, uh, Eterna, about these about these games? <laughs> well, I am a big Marvel fan, <laughs> so yeah, it's no, totally I fine. Agree okay, with you. go ahead. So, I, so here's the thing. Like, <laughs> so no, no, so I do agree with you. Yeah. The first Avengers movie, it was great. Yeah. 
I love. I I feel like a lot with the Marvel movies, the first movies are better than the ones after yeah. them. Yeah, I have. But there are reasons I, for that. You know what they are, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just I feel like novelty, and they have to get you hooked. Novelty, yes, and they have to get you hooked. Once that happens, boom, mm -hmm. pop them out, get a lot of money. That's exactly. it, because they got these guys on deals. They signed. Mm -hmm. That's why they're saying we're mm -hmm. out after this because their deals run out. Yeah. Yeah, like um, with um, Chris, I think it was Chris Evans, the one that plays yeah. Captain America. Like with him, I think this is the last movie that he's yep. going to be in for yep. Marvel. There's some other actors as well. I think Iron Man's done. I think yeah, Thor's yeah, done. Yeah, yeah I think pretty much them. the main ones are done. They're done. So what, the reason why is once this era is over, with, they're going to now switch over to a different one where you basically have now a new generation of Marvel heroes. So like if you follow like the comic books, right. like there's different versions of Iron Man and Thor and Captain America. So that's what they're, that's why they're pretty much all the main actors are going by because it's not going to be that new generation. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I, it's going to be interesting. Yeah. It's going to be interesting for three hours. I mean, I'll sit there for three hours. I'll oh just God, hear me. I'm like, <laughs> I know I saw that. <laughs> Freaking uh... hear me. Before Captain America came behind the trains, it was a scene with Vision and Wanda. Which movie? Is it the last one? I'm not sure. I'm not oh, sure. But Dan, yeah, you're right, was. though. But yeah. Um, this yeah, is it. It hey. is. It really is. All your favorite people, all the, the really yeah. fine looking ones. It's been a good, it's been guys, a good run. Yeah, yeah. Y'all got to say goodbye to that. One <laughs> of the reasons I think DC has really started to launch more of their movies now, now being, you know, last three, four years or so, is because they, they knew this was coming. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a shift because the Marvel Universe, as we know it, they're going to have to push pause. I, I don't think you're going to be able to jump into another Iron Man movie because everyone's going to think to themselves, this should be Robert Downey Jr. You see this a lot with uh, like main character, like Superman, right? You see a large gap between Superman movies. You see uh, usually a large gap between Batman, but they've had some blunders on who they've assigned as Batman, even though Batman sucks anyway. So that's a whole other conversation. That's fine. But uh, there's, there's going to usually be a large gap when an era ends because people don't want to see different actors as those roles. Usually that's the case. Spider-Man's been an exception. Batman's been an exception, but for the most part, that's the way it's been. And so DC is like, Oh, this is our time because we haven't really invested in our universe yet. They were late to the party. And that's why Mar everyone's Oh, Marvel's great. DC sucks. No dude, they're just late to the party. Now the DC movies haven't been great. Aquaman though, really good movie. Uh, but for the most part, yeah, I agree. Uh, but don't forget, Batman, all those great Arkham movies, that yeah. still counts as DC, y'all. Is Batman. Those were yes. great movies. Okay? Let's not act like DC hasn't had any good movies. Really, the only horrible... Oh, it breaks my heart to say this. The only horrible DC movies... I don't even know if horrible is the right word. Bad DC movies were the Superman ones. And he's my favorite, I guys. I think, like, the bat, the Batman that went up Batman versus Superman, like, the live... Okay, one. hold on. Okay, I, one... gotta, I gotta do my rant on that just real quick. Just, yeah. <laughs> you cannot... I'm a huge Superman fan. You cannot make a movie for a god. The dude is a god. No. He can sneeze and blow up planets. <laughs> the whole idea of Batman versus Superman was stupid to begin with. That movie was dumb. <laughs> I love it. My biased opinion was that it was 10 out of 10 because Superman was in it. But my unbiased opinion is that it was garbage because really the movie should have been shorter than the trailer. Because if mm -hmm. Superman really wanted Batman dead, he'd fly into space in less than a second, sneeze in less than a second, and blow up planet Earth. Because he's done that. Mm -hmm. He's blown up planets by sneezing, mm -hmm. guys. Like, mm -hmm. let's stop it. Stop it. You can't. And that's why his movies haven't been good. DC's kind of dealing with a problem where our head guy... I think Marvel built around originally Iron Man. He's the kind of guy that unified the Avengers, who kind of ran the show. The guy who runs the Justice League goes by the name of Superman. And the dude is a god. And it's really tough to make movies for that guy. It's really tough to make villains for that guy. Okay, It's just too tough. It's, it, DC's been put in a hole. But, like I was saying... DC is about to rise up and take advantage of the fact that Marvel is not dead, but they're in a, they're going to be in a coma 
for a while. They, to no, they, not to not their fault. It's not their fault, but it's just they're gonna make a for it. Go ahead. But yeah, um, but DC's already being Marvel during TV show. Oh, TV no doubt. Series. They when Marvel had was it the Shield? You know, yeah. Marvel Agents of Shield. I watched it, and first season was okay. I was just like, okay, I, I can stand it. But after that, it just got boring. And then I watched like some of the DC ones, like you know, Arrow. It was good. It was good. So, Arrow was good. It was good. good. Like literally, their TV series. Arkham, is, Arkham, is, Arkham, yeah. Go- Goth- Gotham, Gotham, Gotham. Gotham. I think Gotham. It was Gotham. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Was that good. was so good. good show, and I'm asking myself, <laughs> if you guys are so good at TV series, why do you see most of your movies suck? They're playing from behind. That's why. They, they, were, were, they were just the like. Avengers, uh, the Avengers. Yeah. Marvel got into the. Mm-hmm. You have to think of everything as like a space, right? So like well, Google Marvel... is in tech. They're not in gaming. That's a space. Mm-hmm. The uh, Marvel got into the space of, of cinema mm-hmm. before DC could. And so they owned the space. And so DC was trying to rush things to keep up. But I think DC eventually realized, hey, we don't need to do that. Because eventually because eventually, they're going to run out of time and it's going to be ours. So DC, I think DC wins in most other things. I think they've had better yeah. video games. The, mm-hmm. um, the, I agree. Yeah. The Batman games were awesome. Mm-hmm. Those mechanics, mm-hmm. they set the precedence for a lot of different gaming, like fighting mechanics and other games. Um, I think they win the TV show battle. And again, I've already had I've already had a video on this, so I don't want to go too in depth with it. Yeah. And their movies have gotten better. Aquaman movies, good. Mm-hmm. Bit Dan just said, thankfully, Wonder Woman was great. Yeah. Wonder, Wonder, Wonder Woman movies yeah. were good, man. They nailed her. She's perfect mm-hmm. for Wonder Woman. The oh, Aquaman so guy, good. the Aquaman guy makes Aquaman not look like a loser. Did a great <laughs> job. They did a great job. That guy was a well, badass. By the end of the movie, I'm like, like damn, I'm Aquaman so... is he's a freaking stud. This guy. Look at him. Look at them green and gold oh, panties. Damn, he looks good. That's how Aquaman should be looking like. Yeah, he looks like a he scene. looks like he a boss. Like, yeah. Yeah. And so and so DC has corrected some things. The problem is, it's just the Superman thing. If they can't nail Superman, and by the way, Henry Cavill, whatever his name is, the guy who's been playing mm-hmm. Superman, who looks the part, can't really act mm-hmm. the part, but looks the part, he's gone. Mm-hmm. We're looking for another Superman and another Batman. So DC's yes. in a dilemma right now. And I can't think of a single actor who's going to be able to fill the shoes of Superman, just looks wise better than Henry Cavill. I hope I'm saying. I, I right. agree. So, yeah, so I... DC's in kind of a listen. We have some other movie franchises that are doing great, but mm-hmm. our our guy, the guy who runs the Justice League, who owns that universe, is Superman, and they're going to have to fill that the right way. Mm-hmm. <sighs> okay, so let's move on to Q and A. At the very end of our of our of, of my show, at the end of every every show, we do a Q and A section where I'll answer questions that uh, I got between shows, and I'll answer questions live. Um, so let me go ahead. Actually, this is probably a good time to direct message uh, Razor. Get him on there. One second. Simba's acting out because I'm not paying attention to him again. <laughs> Simba, boy. Simba, <laughs> boy. Simba wants some love. He's a little troublemaker. I love that dude, but he's a turd. That's fine. Also, I wonder how that Suicide Squad reboot is going to turn out, especially with... Oh, the first one was awful, Bit Dan. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I'm a a Will Smith fan, but I... He hasn't been been good since, God, I Am Legend or something. Like, it's been a while. I was Um, like, don't do that. I will say this. I will say this. The girl who played uh, Harley Quinn. Woo! Yes. No, she was good. She was good. I will admit that. I, I clapped for that. I clapped for that. Damn, she nailed that role. Everybody else yes. sucked. Mm-hmm. Everybody else sucked. Mm-hmm. The whole thing sucked besides her. Yeah. Okay. Um, let me see if he's ready. Because I think... Okay, so he's here. So let's go ahead and pull him in. We're going to try this out before we jump in. So again, the new thing that we're doing now, at the end, at the end we do our Q&A. I'm actually going to start pulling in people live from, from my Discord um, to ask questions. So... Let me hop in here, and then I'll be right back, Eterna. Okay. Um, you ready, bud? Hello, yes, I'm okay. ready. Hello, yes. Okay, go ahead and hop on the game on, okay? All right, let's see if uh, mm-hmm. if he's going to come. I just jumped in there. Come on, buddy, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> We're going to have to figure out a better <laughs> system for this. I know. Huh. Bud, hey, you there? Yeah, yeah, pull me in. I, I can't How do get I, in. You got to pull me. I have to pull you? How do I pull? Yeah, just click and drag me in. Oh, okay. 
Oh, oh, great. Oh, Ray, are yay! you there, bud? Hello there. I am oh, here. I can, oh, that is a great system, man. You set that up real nice. Thank you so much for that, Razor. Yeah, you did really good, Razor boy. Round of applause for Razor. Razor is my Discord <laughs> mod, everybody. Round of applause. Positive vibes for Razor. He is the best. Yes. Um, okay, so do you... Hello. <laughs> I'm Ryder McGee. Uh, do you oh, have I'm a... Oh, Deckard Kane. Oh, Deckard <laughs> Kane. Yes. <laughs> It sounds like Bane. Oh, Batman. Yes. I will destroy you. Hello, cutie. <laughs> Hello, cutie. Uh, Razor, do you got a question, bud? You'll be our, our honorary first question live. Oh, my God. You're putting me right on the right spot. Right on the spot, man. You got uh, this. <laughs> okay. I don't know if you answered it yet because I got in late. But okay. what do you think about the new uh, Switch consoles that are coming up? They're going to have the Mini, the okay. Classic, and the Pro. The mi Okay. Great question. I'll go ahead and start. Um, I think it's wonderful. I think it's a great idea. Now, you guys know how I feel about Nintendo as a whole. But the Switch is bomb. The Switch is bomb. It's a great console. Um, I love the idea. Now, when I'm playing it, the, I have just the standard one that came out. My hands, like, start to go numb. And it's not that heavy. It's just, I guess, a weird position. I'm like, my elbows have to rest somewhere. And it's just, I don't know. It, it just, it's too heavy. I don't think I'd go for the bigger one. But I would be interested in the smaller one, the mini. I definitely would be interested in that one. So I'm excited about it. I don't think I'm going to buy it. Just because I already have the other one. I don't really feel the need to invest in, again, a system, which is a whole other conversation. Um, that I only have two games for. Because everything's overpriced. Yes, I'm talking to you, Nintendo. That's another discussion. Uh, but yeah, overall, I'm excited. What about you, Eterna? I'm actually very excited about it. For me, because I just have <clears throat> the regular one as well. Right. I feel like the only time I would buy another Switch console if there was something with the actual hardware itself. Because yeah. right now, I don't really utilize the full benefits of my Switch, taking out port for portability and all that. But no, I think it's nice that they're giving these options. That's one thing about Nintendo that is good, that they try... <sighs> No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> we we don't exercise. praise Nintendo on my channel. No, I'm kidding. We are going to. I will be that voice to praise Praise no, Nintendo. <laughs> but it's nice that they're giving these options. And hopefully, yeah. um, probably a lesser price, like with the Mini. So It, it, it better of, be. It appeals. I, I'm assuming. We're, we're going to assume that, okay, for the Mini, is a Mini one. It should be a Mini price. We, we Fingers crossed. So that he appealed to other people too that may not be able, they couldn't afford the actual Switch itself. So I think that's nice. That's all how, that they get the price range is good. How much you want to <laughs> bet that they bump it for convenience purposes? True, but they can't bump it too much because at that point, yeah. I could just go. Bit to Dan, freaking <laughs> Nintendo <Crazy>. apologist. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bit Dan. I am not the only. Freaking Nintendo apologist. <laughs> Yeah, now with the with the mini, from what I hear is that the controllers are not going to be, uh, um, you know, able to be detached. So you know, that's going to be one thing. The yeah. the other thing that I see is, and like I have a problem because I'm a a nearsighted individual. So okay. you know, I already find reading on the normal switch a little hard sometimes unless I take my glasses off. Right. So I wonder mm -hmm. if if you have such a small screen, is it going to be that much harder to read? Have they said specifically the size of the screen? They probably have. I just haven't seen it. I haven't done too much delving into it myself. Okay. All right. Let's, but I can tell you, I take you know my Switch everywhere. We're doing this live, chap. Mm. We are doing this live. <laughs> You're... We're doing it live. Nintendo. No, I don't think that's allowed on Twitch. Yeah. Is it not? <laughs> doing things live? Is that anti-Twitch? <laughs> Is that anti-Twitch? <laughs> but yeah, uh, I, I'm hoping too for the glare part because I know it's So I tried to buy like a screen. Yeah, get get the tempered glass. Drop frames. Drop frames. Oh. Yeah. Ah. yeah. I had a I had a plastic one on there, there and it was pretty horrible. Tempered in glass. I I I won't go back to plastic. Okay, so that's part of me. Let's see. What specs will the Switch Mini have? That's it. You're not gonna really tell me. Okay, that's oh, not there. what I want. I just want screen size. Hold on, let me... Screen size. Screen. I probably should have typed that out to begin with. What do you guys think? Would that have been smart? I'm not so smart. Um, I would think that article would have said screen size. Here we go. 6.2 inch. 
Oh. 6.2 inch. Tall. That seems real itchy bitchy. Yeah, that's like a cell phone mm. size. They that, were not I'm, kidding. I want to say that that this this is the Samsung Galaxy S plus S8 plus. And I want to say this is six inches, ish, and I mean maybe it's like my phone, my iPhone SE. You can kind of the see the comparison. SE yeah, I that's that's real Ooh. small. Uh, Damn, that's like going back to Game Boy. Like, or I'm Game Boy Advance, I should say. That's like Game Boy Advance. Yeah. And it could be weird if it has like big controllers on there so you can hold it. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. Hmm. We'll have to see it in action, I guess, but I don't know about that one. Well, Razor, thank you so much, man. We're going to go ahead and uh, hop on the other questions real quick and wrap up uh, this show, but I love this new feature we got. Thank you so much for setting this up. That was Anytime. super Thanks easy. Bro. Absolutely. Later, Razor. Right, bye. See ya. <laughs> All right, so that's our new feature. Um, we're just going to test it today, but going forward, we'd love to have more of you on the show. We're going to go ahead and answer the rest of these questions and wrap up the show because we're, we're going on over an hour and a half now. Oh. Um, okay, next question. Say uh, that you're tasked with creating a video game version of Mount Rushmore. What four characters do you pick? So your four char Mount Rushmore characters. Ooh. Ooh, that's tough. Mm-hmm. Ooh, um, I feel like Master Chief has to be on there somewhere. I feel like maybe Kratos has to be on there somewhere. Lara Croft has to be on there somewhere. Mm, mm, I don't know. I I swear to God, Bit Dan, if you say <laughs> Link, I swear <laughs> Zelda, I swear to God, I will I will jump through this webcam. Um. I don't know who the fourth would be. My heart wants to say Sora from Kingdom Hearts, but I really don't think that's a legitimate one. Um, Master Chief, Lara Croft. I don't know. What are your four? Maybe you'll spark spark an idea for me there, Eterna. Um, hmm. I would probably have one of them, uh, probably something a Pokemon, just because of in childhood that was okay. like my favorite thing is pokemon okay. probably another one would be digimon um like godomon um okay so you're going you're going like um i'm going they're old not school, animal, they're not animals but they're like yeah if you're like really, non-human characters you're going like non-human yeah, characters. okay yeah okay. and then I, I i'm feeling because i'm loving bayonetta yeah. so i'm feeling like bayonetta too and i'm also like <laughs> off of dmc 5b because i'm a fan of virgil and b so I'm just like I feel like they it could be like the fourth ones because yeah. So they, Bayonetta. Yeah, so Bayonetta. Mm -hmm. Which Pokemon? You didn't say which Pokemon. Oh, uh, Pokemon! I would say ooh. Squirtle. Say Squirtle. Squirtle. <laughs> Squirtle. Squirtle. <laughs> no, no. Totodile. <laughs> to okay. All right. And then uh -huh. your Digimon. You already said. And then what was your fourth? Um, fourth would probably be like either V or off of like. The whole DMC series. Wow. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then Bit Dan says Mario and Sonic are two locks. Dang it, Bit Dan. Okay. Stop it. <laughs> I knew you were gonna do that, man. I knew you were gonna hit me with some of that Nintendo. And um, Link. Don't forget Link. No, don't. <laughs> I don't have Mario or Sonic on mine. I don't even know if I put them in my top ten. I know I'm the devil. It's fine. <laughs> Mega Man. Oh, hear me loves right. Mega Man. Yeah. Hear me loves Mega Man. No, that's man. legit. That's. Legit. I wouldn't put Mega Man in mine either, but again, everyone's tired of their opinions, which is totally fine. It's totally fine. I know Hear Me is a big Mega Man fan. I don't, I don't hate people who hate, who like Nintendo. It's fine. I don't hate Nintendo either. I've just been on a rapid fire spree of rants against them. It's fine. Um, I need a fourth. I feel good about my first three. Lower Croft, uh, not in order, Kratos, and Master Chief. I feel, I feel really good about those three. Mm-hmm. I just let me look at my games over here. Maybe I'll get some inspiration. This is an important question. Or um, something maybe from childhood, like your one, maybe some favorite games, you know, from childhood aside from Halo. Dang, I I'm looking at my stuff and I just I don't know. Have they made Superman games before? Does that count? <laughs> and Justice. Hey, there we go, Superman. Yeah, there we go. That's my fourth. <laughs> Absolutely. I feel like that's you cheating, though. though. I feel like that's super cheating. I'm not going to do that. 
I would. Okay, Injustice but... has so many characters. They yeah, name off a lot. I'm, I feel like I'm not gonna do that. It's fine. That's cheating. Um, I might just have to leave it at three because I don't. I really don't feel comfortable. I'm looking. I'm looking at my games over here. You guys can't see them, but I really don't feel comfortable picking. What about DMC? Because I know you stream DMC. I guess I'll just go with Squirtle. <laughs> Squirtle. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm hashtag okay. Squirtle Squad, well, bro. I just love Squirtle, man. I ha I just love Squirtle. I don't know. He's always been my favorite Pokemon. Peekapoo, I never liked Peekapoo, and everybody likes Charmander and Charizard, and I'm like, Psh, you know, giant lizard, seen it before. But I don't know. I guess Squirtle. Uh, Hear me says Mega Man, Lara Croft, James Bond, and Hitman. Dang, you like like the gun people, man. You're oh, like, it's a straight oh, gun lineup. Hear me. You're, you're like straight I am assassination, bro. You. <laughs> you're. Hear me. Damn. Damn, he's like, how can we shoot people? That's the one I want. <laughs> Hey, hear me. You're hardcore. I'm liking yeah, you. Okay, I'm feeling you. <laughs> Next question. What form of media do you turn to to simply relax? Mine would be YouTube because I watch streamers. Um, I prefer actually to watch people's streams on YouTube. Not live, but after they upload it because I like to binge watch. I, I see it just as binge watching Netflix or Hulu. I love to watch playthroughs because I can't get to every game. And as I've said before... I'm pretty much addicted to co carnage. Like the dude is just, I don't know. I just, he's my like Twitch crush, I guess. I don't know, but I watch his playthroughs all the time. And when I, when I need to just relax and unplug and I don't want to be the main character, like to physically play them, I'll just go watch co play on YouTube. Yeah. What about you? For me, honestly, initially it was before I got really caught up with the whole nursing program. It was actually Twitch watching a lot of the streams but because with my nursing stuff i'm like multitasking yeah. a lot of times i'm just like listening i'm doing my homework so you it's been lately it's actually been youtube and it's been music because yeah. you know it's it costs money to buy songs so i will literally just have my little playlist and yeah. just go through my playlist listening to music because i love listening to music all the time whenever i can mm. so i'm doing that and then writing down, doing my schoolwork or, or whatever else I'm doing around the house. Yeah, so yeah. I would say YouTube you can, you can as well. Do multiple things. I love that we're at a point in life where we're like, yeah, so music costs money and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to use YouTube. Like that's the world we live in. I remember it, it used to be LimeWire, I think, or LiveWire or something. We used to like illegally download music. Oh, God, the feds are coming for me. That was so long ago. I haven't done that in forever, I swear um but like now we're at a point where it's like yeah i don't want to pay for that so <laughs> lime wire my bank. yeah i looked, I looked at my, at my bank. bank account and i'm like you know i shrugged a little bit and said no i don't want to support this <laughs> music beautiful. artist so i'm just gonna get it for free you know like that's yeah that's what we do now <laughs> hear me says lime wire was aids for your computer <laughs> oh, for me i didn't like, use my computer bro. i used other people's computers oh, boom 2000 iq what's up <laughs> What yeah. is your dream job? If you could do anything, what was your dream job? Um, I don't feel like I have a dream job, but I have dream job. So my my dream in life isn't to stream full time, although I wouldn't be opposed to doing that at some point in my life. But I don't, I don't think I could do that for 40 years. Um, my dream job is actually moving. So as you can see, I'm, I went to Baylor. I can't get this right. I went to Baylor. So um, I, I love my university and I dream of going back to Waco. I would like to open my own practice in downtown Waco, specializing in athlete and gamer mental health. Um, and I would like to be, uh, depending on the season, so in the fall, I would like to be an assistant strength and conditioning coach because I'm a strength and conditioning coach now through my business. And in the spring, I'd like to be an adjunct professor. And then in the summer, I'd like to travel and speak on behalf of athletes and gamers, mental health mental and physical health for athletes and gamers all while running my practice. So that the practice is the primary. And then those things are kind of the secondary. That's why I would be an assistant strength and conditioning coach, not a full time. I'd be an adjunct professor, not a full time. And in the summer I would just travel and give, you know, presentations and speeches and go to events and things to, to speak on behalf of athletes and gamers. That is my dream. Um, that is my dream job actually. Yeah. And I don't know if it'll happen, but we'll see. What about you, Eterna? So for me, my dream job is to become an RN. So that's why I'm in nursing. 
And then I, later on, I actually want to go back to school mm -hmm. and so I could um, get my master's and be, be able to become a professor and still, right. so I like, so so like the, my my priority is to become an RN, then the rest is stuff like the secondary and everything else would just be like a professor. And also I'm really looking into doing medical missions, traveling out the oh, country. Oh, that's awesome. That's I really yeah. want to do that. Thanks. Yeah, I really want to do that as well. So just anything like traveling. Such a good person, chat. <laughs> not only within our country, because I, I love volunteering. Now, not only within we got to take care of home base. We talked about yeah, that we earlier. Gotta, we got to take exactly. care of home base. Yeah. So not only do I want to take care of home base, not only as an RM, but volunteering mm -hmm. here um, in the U.S., but I also want to go out the country to do under um, under you know underprivileged areas mm -hmm. and try to help out that's that awesome. way so that's my goals <laughs> that's awesome i love that <laughs> x osh says both of y'all are great people thank you so much oh thank you do i have a do i have a thank you i don't have a thank you on my soundboard i'll give you a excellent that'll work <laughs> i need a thank you on there i don't have a thank you what the heck huh. everybody needs really? a thank you on there like Ko's got this one. It's it's the "You're the best around" song. I need something oh. like that for when people say super nice things like that. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that's all of our questions. If I'll I'll open it up for you know thirty seconds. If you guys have any questions you want to ask live, um, otherwise that's gonna be it for today, um, for the show, anyway. Um, so yeah, thirty seconds. We'll see what happens, and then we'll go from there. Yeah. Either way, thank you so much, Eterna, for for joining oh it was my pleasure thank you so much for having me on i'm very honored i know i was just like that wow. we, we're at an hour and 43 minutes jesus stupid wow. god hear me <laughs> hear me goes if you have if you had to have an std which would it be i i <laughs> you've got to be shitting me no i am not shitting you I'm not answering that one. <laughs> did, you, did I do your other question? What was your other question? I think I hit all of them. Um, oh, oh, there is one more. I'm so sorry. I thought we did that one uh, with Razer. When it comes to the big three of gaming, Microsoft, Nintendo, and Sony, whose future are you the least optimistic about and why? I think you guys know my answer for this one. I feel like I've been quite um, forward and blunt about it. It's Sony. Yeah, it's Sony because they've ostracized themselves. Microsoft uh, and Nintendo have somewhat teamed up. Um, I wouldn't call it like an official bond, an official partnership, but they've essentially said, well, you know, we're going to help each other. Scratch your back, you scratch mine, because Sony's pissing us off kind of thing. And Microsoft especially, I think, is going to take the lead um, in the next 10 years. Um, Nintendo's not going anywhere. They're just too well put together of a company. Um, but I think Microsoft, not just in gaming, cause that's one space of Microsoft. I think Microsoft as a whole is going to take the lead. And I think Sony, which is a very unpopular opinion cause people love Sony and they're a great company as well, but they've done so well to the point where they think they don't need anybody else. And I think it's going to come back to bite them in the butt. So, yeah. What about you? Which of the big three? Um, I actually, huh, I would have to say... I mean, I'm kind of, I'm kind of on the fence about it because I do agree with saying about Sony, but also with Microsoft, I I do notice Microsoft they're starting to up their game more. So like with the graphics, it's becoming much better. They have the better um, overall system between the yes. two advanced systems. Their system is better. Yes, mm -hmm. and yeah. I mean, and they're not becoming so exclusive as much as they used to be. They used to kind of, uh, usually it was Sony that was ruled. Sony was pro Hanzo. It was mm -hmm. just, you know, they were ruling. But then Xbox was like, wait just a minute, and we're or, or Microsoft was like, wait just a minute, we're Microsoft. We can't let Sony beat us. I mean, we're we deal Microsoft's with computers. Yeah, it really is. And if you think yeah. about it, I would think that they would be at the top because they deal with computers. So therefore, they they have the technology. Well, that benefits them. Graphics. That benefits yeah. them because everything is shifting over to streaming services. Everything is shifting over to everything being online, and that plays right into the space. I've talked a lot about space that Microsoft excels in, mm -hmm. which is which is computer based. It's streaming. It's it's hardware. It's like that's the that's the thing. Like this benefits them. The the movement that's taking place in the gaming industry benefits them. 
Exactly. And the thing is, Sony no. is... No. I think in the end... Boy, it's not. This is, this is my Diddy Diddy shirt. <laughs> Diddy Diddy! <laughs> Diddy Diddy. No, it's not. It's not my merch. Okay. No. <laughs> Sorry, go oh, ahead. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're good. Uh, I, I think um, if the way that Microsoft is going right now, I do believe they continue that up momentum, especially that was a great move they did with Nintendo. I really have to say hats off to that. I'm not an Xbox fan just because yeah. I don't have anything against Xbox. It's just I don't see any games that really interest me. So that's the only reason why I didn't buy the system. Their exclusives are meh. They're just meh. They're just, yeah. 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 Sony beats them when it comes to exclusives. Absolutely. But I, yeah. But I, I had to say hats off to them. That was a really good business move to say, you know what? Sure, we're Microsoft, but we're going to go ahead and team up. And Microsoft has always been more open anyways, just as a business with teaming up with people. Sony yep. has been kind of like, we're exclusive. We're Sony. We're I, Sony. I, we don't I, need you. Yeah. Exactly. They're kind of like Apple. I, I like to think of yeah. them as the Apple of consoles. Yeah, which, by the way, ever since Jobs died, Steve Jobs, it's Apple been, hasn't yeah. been the same, y'all. They're not as innovative. He doesn't, he doesn't, it's just, I'm not going to get into it because that's a whole nother discussion. But Apple's just, they're, I've never been an Apple fan anyway. I I own, I'm just an Android guy. I'm an Android Mm -hmm. guy. I I hate, I have an Asus computer. I, yeah, I don't do that stuff. But anyway, Uh, Boyle says Microsoft and Nintendo got married. Yeah, they did. They put a ring on it, which is great. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, What about exclusives? The streams? The streams oh. cut out. Oh, Bit Dan. So I think she was just saying. You correct me if I'm wrong. She was just saying that uh, Sony does have the better exclusives. Um, yeah, just exclusive games yeah. versus Microsoft. Which is true. Is which like, is true. Eh. But it, but this is a good business move for in the long run. Sure, there's Microsoft. Eh. But business wise, it was a good move that they teamed up with another big console company. So now they can kind of tag team against Sony, where Sony is yeah. like, hey, I'm the Mac Daddy of, of consoles. Sony so Sony is in a, a similar position to mm-hmm. Marvel that we talked about earlier, which is yes, exactly. the era is coming to an end. Mm-hmm. They've the the whole exclusive thing isn't going to befit them going forward because everything is becoming interconnected. Like mm-hmm. with the Stadia thing, play on this click it, play on that, click it, play on this device. Like you can directly change what device you're playing on instantaneously. Like this whole, it's all becoming more interconnected and that doesn't behoove uh, Sony. It, it hurts them. Yeah, um, because now you know. have people that's going to be like, wait just a minute. Yeah, they're, they're not. Xbox and Nintendo, I could go to them because they're hooked up. I could go ahead and play between them. Where we they're Sorry, uh, Sony, to be honest, doesn't have that many exclusives. Yeah, I mean, they, they don't have that. I don't know no. if I'd call it total number, but the ones that they do yeah. have are home runs. They're yeah, home like, runs. Horizon Zero Dawn, yeah. I think, was one of them, oh, right? Oh, yes, I actually have that. That was. I'm so sad I didn't get to play that game. I watched that game, and I still think it's in the top 25 games I've ever it, it watched, even though I didn't even play it. I Like, that game was just God of War. Oh, oh my gosh, I have that too. I didn't get to play that one either, oh, and I God. still... I did a video, that, and... You know, you can watch that on YouTube or whatever. I did a video mm-hmm. on best games of 2018 at the end of 2018. And number one for me was God of War. Mm-hmm. Spoilers. You're probably not going to watch it anyway. It's fine. <laughs> but, but the 2019 one in December, you better watch. <laughs> you better watch that one. But God of I didn't even play it. And I put it as number one. Yeah, they have some great games. Microsoft is doing that as well. Kind of like Stadia where Xbox Cloud Gaming. Yep, they're doing mm-hmm, it exactly. as well. Yeah. Uh, you, you think of the consoles that this will now let nintendo work on with the backing from microsoft you think of the console that this will now let nintendo work more on. like a collaboration like they con- i don't i just i don't think that's going to happen because i think <laughs> there will be one more console yeah. for each major corporation and that's it i think that's it i think it's the and last just one. games and i'm yeah, just guessing they- i'm just guessing i think everything's going to go online virtual i think you'll still you can still buy like a box but you're not going to like put yeah. discs in it or anything. Everything's just going to be downloaded. I think that's that's where in the next decade where things are going. People are like, it's here now, and I'm like, no, nah, man. We this if you look There's at cell so phones, much. so this yeah. this cell phone is the same as it was ten years ago. Mm-hmm. It's just bigger. It has yes. apps. It like it has apps. I make phone calls. I check the internet. Like Twitter was a thing back then too. Like nothing has really changed. Nothing dramatic has has happened in 
uh, the phone industry in quite some time. Like change is a lot slower than people think. And now we see Stadia. I'm like, Stadia, we've had the idea of Stadia for like five years. Sony Star tried that and it, it bombed. Then Shadow tried that and most people don't even know what that is. Um, and now Stadia is going to do it. And I think they're going to have more success, but still overall fail. Uh, but I think after that, I think Stadia will set the precedence. Um, but I did a video on that already too. So everyone buys digital now. Not me, man. Not me. I buy I'm, hard I'm copy you. everything. I, I got my me, collection over yours. yonder. So, <laughs> yeah, I have like hard copies as well, unless it's a deal in yeah. the digital stores where it's just like, oh my gosh, cheap. I oh, have yeah, to yeah. get that. Then, yeah, I'm like, I'm a, I'm a nursing. I'm a, I'm a, a nursing. Better, okay. okay. So, <laughs> right. so, even when it's like a, even when it's um, a PC game, I, I even like to make like hard copies for it. Like, mm -hmm. like I'll print out. Uh, a picture of it or whatever and I'll, I'll even I'll make a case for it there's just something to me about having a collection that I love and not everybody likes it but it's like my book you know some people have like libraries or book collections for me I, I love my gaming collection so even when I buy a PC game I think to myself uh, at some point I need to make a hard copy for this piece for this PC game and just even though there's not a disc in it there's just something about it for me honestly that I love um, I think it's maybe more like the tangibility, know. like you, you, you have the you just to look at it and say, like, wow, look at all those stories that I, I was in. Look at this I, I nice picture. Look at this yeah. nice art I cover. <laughs> I don't know. I like it. I just do. And I'll always, as long as that's a, a, an option, I will always buy hard copy. I will always buy hard copy. That's why my kingdom hearts got in like two weeks after everybody else started streaming it. <laughs> and before I started streaming it was because I bought a hard copy and I have no regrets. Yeah, like for me, I bought um, the Liar Prince, Blind Prince. It's a very small game, and it was yeah. dollars. But you can go on to, and I had mentioned that to PlayStation Store and gave her like last time I saw twenty some dollars, like half the price. But yeah. I pre-ordered it and got the collector's edition. Came with D and all sorts of nice stuff that I had posted on my Twitter. Simba, now. boy, and <laughs> boy, 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 boy. <laughs> Boy, at least make an appearance on on stream if you're gonna be acting oh, out. Oh yes, please. please. You oh, guys see the, the cutie pie. He's the worst and the best at the same time. <laughs> worst and the best at the same time. Oh yes, Boyle was saying that um, I buy digital. I, I own no hard copies. I own over four digital games. Yeah, boy. Oh, okay. That's a boy. lot of games. All right. Hats off to you. Imagine worst how beautiful your hard copy collection would be. Oh, I'll be like to the roof. Oh, oh. Worst part is I oh, own all Vegas editions of Call of Duty and haven't I haven't ever played the games as I buy them for my thirteen year old, 13 -year -old cousin, cousin to play. Oh, that's when nice he comes of you, around. Oh, that's so cute. I calculated last month to about five thousand dollars over Steam and Xbox. Jesus. Oh. God damn, I'm the king of used games, man. Like. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm if it's possible, if it's possible, I try to buy used unless it's like some sort of collector's edition or something. Dude, I'm all about it. Really I'm all about it. it. I wait till things get reviewed, and I'm just all about it. Like I, I have yeah. these that I bought recently, mm -hmm. Final Fantasy, whatever one that is, the new one, Devil May Cry HD Collection, which oh, you yes. know we're playing right now, Mad Max, and Metro Redux, uh, which came with the two games of Metro, and those are like the games I plan on streaming going forward. Like mm -hmm. there's, there's only few, there's only a few franchises like Kingdom Hearts I got pre-ordered um yeah th there's only a few franchises that i'm like elder scrolls when that's when elder scrolls 6 comes out <laughs> i'm buying everything they offer i don't even care oh, yes. i, can see I don't even care that. it's my it's my favorite universe in gaming period is um it's just the elder scrolls universe like it's just tamriel and everything it's just my favorite so so you better believe i'm buying everything they own but for the most part i i just wait and i'm mm -hmm. fine with that and i have a friend who works at gamestop there's a headquarters oh. for gamestop like 10 minutes from my house and he works at mm -hmm. that headquarters he's a financial advisor oh. and i doubt he's watching so i'll go mm -hmm. ahead and plug him but uh you know he hooks me up with games too so i just i don't really have to worry about it um which is nice so mm -hmm. jesus man uh any other final questions as we conclude today's show we're going on two hours so we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up um anything else anything else i'll give it like 10 seconds. That seems fair. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Boyle oh, says today's been good. Yeah. I see Boyle says something too. Um, Boyle says, 
think of it when it all goes digital you will lose all those games where i have <laughs> no i'm not gonna lose them i'm not gonna lose them because they'll still be sitting over there they're not going <laughs> he's sitting over there he's like uh-uh i'll be like for me i just have my i have i'm i'm the financial Sin. advisor oh yeah wings <laughs> you should come to texas that's my oh. question <laughs> you should come to texas and well, uh, i'm the I financial need place to stay <laughs> You can stay with, uh, hear me would happily house you. Aww, like he's the nicest so guy in the world, actually. I, I legit I would think love he'd to house come you. To, I would love to come to Texas. I actually, that was like one. You should. Travel too. <laughs> We're, we, we live 10-ish minutes from the, from DFW airport. We're not that far. I'm the oh, financial okay. advisor. I advise that we give this man free games. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Free games yes. live better. Yes. Actually, pretty much like. <laughs> donations to the to the channel or subs which you know we don't get a lot which mm -hmm. is totally fine but those go to either the business which is for mental and physical health gamers which i'm not going to get into because it's not what we're talking about today or it goes to just making the stream better which includes games so um that counts as a free game yeah steven steve that's his name i just i just name dropped him that's my buddy <laughs> whoops okay uh, yeah he takes he he doesn't spoil me because I don't I don't like to use my friends, but he's oh, yeah. he's made it very clear. He's like, dude, if you like if you need something, just let me know. It's fine. But I think that's really nice. So like he's like, hey, I got you. Uh, wait, who we got on podcast? Just asking. Uh, me. I'm like, I mean, yeah, go ahead and say hi in chat. Yeah, go ahead and say hi in chat. <laughs> Eterna, say okay. so Boyle knows. Um, got the lad fired. It's me. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Emotes. Oh, thank you, boy. I appreciate you the it. You're girl. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Doing dance over here. You know, I don't have, you know, uh, uh, it's like the club up in here. <laughs> it's a me, La Mario. <laughs> it's a, I can do a, I can do a pretty good Mickey. No, you, that was good. But, uh, I'm going to, before I do my Mickey, if I'm, you should censor this you should close your ears because I'm, I'm about to actually maybe i shouldn't do this i don't know can you get censored for cursing on youtube because i'm gonna upload this to youtube can you do that i don't think uh, so. i know youtube i do a pretty YouTube good make... acting funky i don't know let me just do you a... mm. good stream you have mm. yes that's my yoda that's not bad <laughs> I like to do a a, a Yoda um, Mickey Mouse like back and forth conversation, <laughs> but Mickey's usually very violent and he likes to curse in these scenarios. <laughs> and Yoda's very like, you know, calm down, Mickey. Mm, very Ew. stressed you are. You know, like he's like Mickey. Mm -hmm. You know, chill. You know, I'm like, God, I'm weird. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, when I, I'm like, yeah, when I have conversations with myself between Mickey and Yoda, oh, I, do it all the time. I don't sound crazy at all. It's fine. Nah, nah. I, I'm, I'm doing my voiceover. I'm practicing for audition. That's why. I be Are you really? No, I'm just, I tell Oh, okay. You. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, me too. Me too. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the excuse you use. Next time you have your whole year, Mickey Mouse, I am practicing for a voiceover yeah, audition. Totally. Okay. Don't hate. Appreciate. Totally. That's right. Don't hate. I'll love. We need to do a Disney podcast with only voice acting. I don't know if my voice could handle doing Mickey that long. Yeah, mm -hmm. especially Yoda. Yoda, I guess oh, Yoda Yoda's... is actually Disney now because Disney owns the rights to Star Wars. Yo, but... uh, Disney owns everything. Everything. I... Disney owns the world, man. It's fine. You don't mess with Disney. No, Disney's evil. <laughs> I think I think they're secretly evil. Well, you gotta think too. You know, my... like all all those Disney, the, like those princesses, the, the stories are dark. The actual true origin. No, 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 no. I mean, like, like I think, I think Disney's dark. like secretly an evil corporation. Disney's big. Brother, My conspiracy the theory. <laughs> Disney, Disney sucks happiness for money. That's the most they, evil they, thing. They, 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 they no, zap your. They want your positive. I energy. want you to be so damn happy that you give me all your money. It's perfect. Greatest scheme in the but world. Let's make everybody happy business. and make all the money. No, okay. But they own everything. Man. Yeah, they boxy they box box. It's just like what. Disney are no. doing what? Ah, oh, did you just bleep it out? <laughs> oh. oh, man. Dang. Well, with that being said, uh, if there's no more questions, we're going to wrap it up. Thank you guys for being here. Eterna, thank you for coming. We're going to do this again next Sunday, probably at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time again. Okay. Um, I don't see why I wouldn't be able to do it at that time. Um, 
guys, thank you for being so understanding about me streaming less. It's been just so much better for my health, honestly, streaming less. I've been able to just enjoy this with you guys more because it doesn't feel like a job. It doesn't feel like I'm uh, fishing for views or fishing for an audience or for donations or subs or anything because I just don't I just don't care anymore, honestly. <laughs> I, I know that... Like, you probably shouldn't on stream be like, yeah, I don't care if you sub to me or give me some money because, like, those are important for keeping a stream going. But I just kind of don't. Um, but anyway, thank you guys for coming. I, I do plan on being uh, on again tomorrow, uh, probably around the same time, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, but I'll keep you updated on Twitter. Uh, thank you so much, Eterna. You're the best. <laughs> thank you. You're yeah. the best. <laughs> oh, stop it. Stop it. We're the best. Stop it. Or, or as DJ Khaled <laughs> said, we the best. We the best. <laughs> That's the perfect ending. Later, guys. I will see you uh, manana. Peace.